I'm going to show you how to make a graph in Excel that has multiple lines on it for our carbon dioxide emissions data graph. So open up a new Excel document and then open up in your web browser the Carbon Dioxide Information Analysis Center page and I've gotten myself to the page that will allow me to pick a country for the fossil fuel CO2 emissions by nation. And I'm going to start off with the United States. So I'm going to go to you, click on the United States, and I'm going to grab the data graph. And I'm going to grab from the United States all the way down to the bottom. Make sure I grab all of those numbers. And I'm going to copy it. And then I'm going to go over to my Excel spreadsheet and I'm going to paste it right into that first cell. And this needs to be put into columns, so I'm going to go up to Data, Text to Columns, Fixed Width, hit Next, and then Finish. And what we're going to be graphing are just the first two columns, the year and the total fossil fuel emissions. Um, and all of these other things will just be left there, um, but we're not going to end up using them. So I'm going to start my graph by just highlighting the year and total fossil fuel emissions. Actually, the United States data goes back to 1800. We want our graph to start at 1900, so let's just scroll down to that right away. And we're just going to highlight from there to present day. And it looks like we just go up to 2008. I'm going to go up to Insert, Scatter, and pick some lines that connect the dots. Actually, let's grab one that doesn't have dots on it, but still has a line. Alright, so here's my United States one. Um, and before I forget what this is, I'm going to go down to the Sheet label, and I'm just going to rename this United States. I'm going to try to remember that my graph is on this page. So I'm going to go to Sheet 2, and I'm going to name this one China. And I'm going to go back to the web page. I'm going to close the United States as data, and just go back and try to find China. Um, I think China is under... It's under P for the People's Republic of China. And I'm going to go to their data. I'm going to grab everything from China all the way to the bottom. Copy it. Paste it. Go to data, text to columns, next, next, finish. And then I'm going to um, add this data to my original graph. So I'm going to start with the, the year um, 1902. And what I need to do is go back to my original graph. I'm going to click on an empty space within the graph. I'm going to right click on it. Go to select data. And I'm going to name the series that we already put in there. So I'm going to click on series 1 and edit it and call that United States. And then I'm going to add a new series. We're going to call this one China. And it is asking for the series X values. So I'm going to click on Select Range. And I'm going to navigate to my second sheet, which I just pasted China onto. And I'm going to grab the year data until the present day, just because that's what goes on the Y axis, sorry, the X axis. And then I, it's asking for Y values and I'm going to grab the stuff next to that, so go back to my sheet 2 and go from 1902 to present day for the total fossil fuel emissions and hit OK and hit OK again and if we go back to our graph, which is somewhere on my United States page there we go, we can see China's data on here so, I'm going to go back and label that sheet to China, which I thought I did before, but maybe it didn't stick. Now I'm going to rename this one India. And I'm going to go back to the web page. 
and try to find India on our list. I'm going to grab the data from India. Copy it. Go back to Excel. Paste it. Do my text to columns. Next, next, finish. And now I'm going to add the India data to my graph. So I click on the graph, I right click, go to select data, add, call it India, go to collect my X values, so I need to go into the India tab, start at the year 1900, which looks like I'm going to have to scroll down to find that. Okay, and then it wants me to pick the Y data, so I'll pick the data right next to that in the India tab. And hit OK. And OK again. And so my graph is well on its way. I want to stick some labels on here. So I'm going to go up to the Design tab and click on a chart layout. And that will allow me to start adding some titles like total fossil fuel emissions. And the y-axis here is going to be total emissions. And let's go back to the web page to figure out our units on that. Okay, so it says that all these emissions are estimated, all emission estimates are expressed in thousand metric tons of carbon. So let's go back to our Excel page. And let's call this thousand metric tons carbon. And we can size this to see a little bit more of the detail. And what you'll want to do is go in and grab your own country and the other countries listed on the directions and make sure that all of those are on there and that they're all labeled here on the side. And then what you're going to want to do is copy and paste that chart into Paintbrush. And make sure you crop your image so that all this white space doesn't exist when you save it. And we're just going to call this emissions. And then if you go over to your WordPress and go to your dashboard, we're now going to create a new post. And you can think of a clever name for your post, but um, this essentially has to do with contributions to climate change. So I'm going to make sure that my country name is in this. And I'm going to hit return a couple times, and then I'm just going to stick in that graph that I just made. And I'm going to make sure that it's full size over here, which it looks like it defaulted to. 
and click insert into post. Now at the bottom of this graph I want to make sure that I'm telling people where I got this data from. So I'm going to say data pulled from and then I'm going to go back to the web page where we got it from and just use this copy that and stick in that link and then make sure that I hyperlink it to make it live and we can actually rename it and call it that okay and now people know where the data came from and so on your graph you'll have several more lines than this and at the top of your page you will have your queuing graph that we just made